Tantrum recently hosted a two hour AMA with two experts from their team, and they went over things like some massive updates we can expect this year, as well as some very important technical questions that needed answering. So I've taken what I think are the most important topics from that AMA and summarized them into a clear and concise video for you. That said, if you watch this video and decide that the Tangent Wallet is for you, you can use the 10% off discount code in the description of this video to save some money. Also, I just want to point out that all the updates I'm going to mention in this video are going to be available on the current Tangent cards. You don't have to wait for these updates to roll out before you get your Tangent Wallet. You'll just have to update the Tangent app and then it'll all be groovy. So first I want to touch on how Tangent decides whether or not to integrate a new blockchain network or a new token into their wallet. So the first thing to look at according to them is whether or not it's even possible and then from there they determine how long it's going to take to integrate whatever network or token that they're looking at and this isn't just for blockchains and certain tokens this is also for new updates to the app for example uh, Tangem used to be a seedless wallet but after users constantly requested that they add the option to generate their own seed phrase they made this option available and they did it pretty quickly. As for blockchain networks that Tangem already supports integrating a token from that blockchain is obviously a lot easier and is a no-brainer compared to a blockchain network that's not supported where first they need enough demand from the users uh, before they decide to add it to the wallet. I think the main takeaway here is that Tangem decides which networks, which tokens, which features to add based on what you want. They want to know what the users of their wallet want to see added because at the end of the day, the users are what matters most. Without us, Tangem wouldn't even exist. And that's what I really like about Tangem is that they actually listen to the feedback from their community. They're gathering data from Twitter, from their Discord, from their Telegram, and they're bringing all the requests back to their team so that they they can sit down, look at it, and decide whether or not it's something that they can integrate. So if there is a feature or a network or a token or something that you want to see added to Tangem, be loud about it. Let them know because they want to hear your feedback because again, the users is what makes Tangem one of the best wallets on the market. They want to know exactly what we want so that they can create a better product. So definitely let them know. Even drop a comment in this video and let Tangem know what you want because I guarantee you they're going to see it. As you probably already know, Tangem recently launched Tangem Express, which is a centralized and decentralized exchange aggregator that allows you to directly swap crypto in the Tangem app. So this feature is already up and running. In fact, I use it at least once a week to swap uh, certain cryptos in the Tangem app. But what they want to do is diversify the options we have for our swap. So they want to add more centralized exchanges and more decentralized options so that we can get the best price in terms of trading crypto. One misconception that I see a lot in the comments of my Tangem videos is that Tangem swap fees are really high and that's exactly what I want to clear up right now is that these fees are not charged by Tangem and the fees aren't collected by Tangem. They're actually charged by the third party aggregators, the centralized and decentralized exchanges who are providing the service that allow us to swap directly in the Tangem app. And that's why Tangem wants to diversify our options so that we can get better swap fees. And more importantly, they want to implement more decentralized exchanges so that we aren't relying on centralized entities to trade our crypto. Okay, next is an exciting feature that I know a lot of you have been waiting for, but it might not be as groundbreaking as you thought. And that is the option to generate a 24 word seed phrase when you set up your wallet. Currently, Tangem allows you to generate a 12 word seed phrase and you can already import a 24 word seed phrase if you have one from another wallet that you wanna use on Tangem. But again, soon you're going to be able to generate a 24 word seed phrase using your Tangem wallet. However, it's not necessarily going to increase security because the private key which the 24 word seed phrase is derived from has the same entropy that the 12 word seed phrase is derived from. So what does this mean exactly? Well, entropy basically measures the randomness used to generate a private key and therefore makes it more difficult for someone to guess or calculate. So basically the longer the private key is, the more secure or the greater its entropy is. That said, using the 24 word seed phrase option when it's available will not increase the security of your wallet because Tangem's entropy is already as secure as it gets. There is, however, a new feature that Tangem is adding that should increase security, and that is the option to create a passphrase, aka a hidden wallet. I've personally been requesting this feature for a while now, and it looks like they're finally integrating it, so I'm pretty excited about that. And basically what this feature allows you to do is add your own word or 
phrase to the end of your seed phrase to create a separate or hidden wallet with its own receiving address and everything. So basically you can have multiple wallets under one seed phrase, but each wallet is protected by your unique passphrase. That said with this feature, it is just as important to protect your passphrase as it is your seed phrase, because if you forget your passphrase, you lose access to your hidden wallet forever. So I like to think of the passphrase as an extension of your seed phrase rather than a separate password that you can recover if you forget it or lose it, for example. Also, there is no limit to how many passphrases, aka hidden wallets you can create with one seed phrase. So you can literally have as many passphrases attached to your seed phrase as you want. This next update we can expect is one of the most requested features for the Tangem wallet, and that is the ability to stake your crypto. So according to Tangem, the most requested blockchains to support staking were Solana, Cardano, Cosmos, Polkadot, Polygon, Avalanche, Tron, and the Binance Smart Chain. So since these were the most requested networks, these blockchains will have priority over any other network when they roll out the staking feature in the Tangem app. And remember, all these new features are only going to require an app update. You're not going to have to buy a new Tangem wallet or you don't have to wait to get your Tangem wallet. If you get your Tangem wallet now or if you already have your Tangem wallet, Again, you're just going to have to update the app and then all these features will be available to you. Tangem is also planning to roll out several other features, including a redesigned send page, along with the ability to generate multiple crypto addresses, AKA public addresses or crypto accounts. And this will be universal for all cryptocurrencies, not just Bitcoin, so that you can diversify your crypto across different public addresses using a single wallet. Also, the Tangem app will soon provide live market data, which will give you a comprehensive overview of the entire crypto market, including graphs and other cool features that will make it easier to trade directly in the Tangem app. So all of those updates are what I consider the most important and most exciting updates that we can expect to see roll out this year. But Tangem also took the time to answer a ton of technical questions that I know a lot of you have been wondering so I want to share the answers with you. The first question, why does Tangem feel so strongly about seedless wallets? Well, according to Dennis, who is Tangem's blockchain analyst, he doesn't like seed phrases because uh, seed phrase has too many flows. So. They're easy to lose. Uh, they can be stolen. And if they're stolen, you might not even know they're stolen until it's too late. And assuming you write down your seed phrase on a piece of paper, the piece of paper and the ink can start to deteriorate over time. And if that happens, well, you lose access to your wallet. But here's the thing, all of these concerns are mainly a user error that can really all be prevented. If you lose or misplace your seed phrase or if it's damaged or stolen, really that's on you because you didn't take the proper precautions to protect your seed phrase. And the same could be said for a seedless wallet. If you use Tangem without a seed phrase and you happen to misplace it, or you don't store it properly and it gets damaged, that's really on you. So it really goes both ways here. But the only thing is if you lose your seedless wallet, there's absolutely no way to recover it. And considering the seedless wallet is the only place where your private key is stored, it's not like you can have multiple copies of it. You only have the device, or in this case, the tangent cards, and if you lose those, your crypto is gone forever. Whereas you can create as many copies of a seed phrase as you want and store those securely in different locations. Plus there are alternative methods for storing your seed phrase. You don't have to write it down on a piece of paper. In fact, I don't recommend that you do, uh, maybe temporarily, but you should really get a metal seed phrase plate that you can either engrave or stamp your seed phrase into because that will pretty much last a lifetime, assuming you, know, you take good care of it just like anything else, but it is going to be more resistant to fires and floods or even if you just spill your drink on it. Um, and also, if you don't know your seed phrase, you can't import it into other brands of hardware wallets. So if you just use a seedless wallet, you're stuck using Tangem, which I don't have anything against Tangem. I love Tangem, but maybe a new wallet comes out and you want to try it out and you want to use, you know, your current wallet in that new wallet. You're not going to be able to do that unless you have your seed phrase. And that is why I always recommend recording your seed phrase. Next question. What if Tangem shuts down? Then what do we do? How do we use our wallets? Well, fortunately, your private key is stored on the physical card. It doesn't rely as Tangem as a company. And same with transferring crypto, it doesn't rely on Tangem servers. It relies on the blockchain network, whatever blockchain your crypto is stored on. Um, and then with that, of course, you still need the Tangem app to initiate and approve the transaction. So the next concern would be, well, what if the Tangem app disappears from the app store and maybe you deleted it from your phone? 
Well, fortunately, the Tangem app is 100% open source, meaning you can technically recreate the app if you know how to do that. But that's the thing is a lot of people aren't developers, so they aren't going to know how to implement the code to recreate the Tangem app. So I don't think this is realistic for, you know, a majority of the population. And that goes back to why it's so important to know your seed phrase, because let's say Tangem disappears forever. And as long as you have your seed phrase, you'll be able to import it into a different brand hardware wallet and recover your crypto that way. Funny enough, Tangem actually created an apocalypse guide. So, you know, in case Tangem does disappear, this guide gives you all the steps you need to take in order to recover your crypto. So I'll definitely leave that guide in the description for you if you wanna read it over. Another great question that the Tangem team covered is will the firmware on the secure element chip inside the Tangem cars ever be open source? And the short answer to that, is no, it won't. And the longer answer is if they were to open source the code, it would actually be more of a danger, not only to Tangem, but to you as a user, because once you open source code, that means it's publicly known. So someone, anyone could recreate the Tangem wallet. They could create a counterfeit version of the Tangem wallet. And then let's say they sold it on Amazon, you ordered it, you got it in your hands, you put some crypto on it, and then they steal all of your crypto. So it's actually uh, a danger to open source the firmware in this specific scenario. And that's why Tangem has gotten their firmware audited by two separate companies. The first audit was done a few years back by Kudelsky Security. And then more recently, they got another audit done by Riskier, which proves that there are no hidden backdoors or vulnerabilities in their firmware. There is one vulnerability though that Tangem actually touched on that applies to all crypto wallets, not just Tangem. Uh, it applies to both hot wallets and all cold wallets. And that vulnerability is when you connect your hardware wallet to a decentralized application using Wallet Connect, which is a protocol available on most hardware wallets that allow you to connect to decentralized applications. And the vulnerability doesn't come in the actual connecting of your wallet to uh, you know, the decentralized application, but it's actually when you sign a malicious transaction on a malicious website, for example. So usually these transactions, these phishing links, uh, what you're doing is signing over control of your wallet or maybe a specific token to the hacker that would allow them to basically steal all of your crypto. And again, this applies to all hardware wallets. Doesn't matter if you're using Ledger, Trezor, Tangem, One Key, Keystone. If you are clicking on a uh, malicious website and you are signing a transaction allowing someone to take control of your wallet, you're screwed either way. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm always preaching you should have one dedicated hardware wallet to solely store your crypto in. Think of this as like your bank fault and then a separate wallet for interacting with decentralized applications and don't store any significant amount of crypto on that wallet. That way, in case you do come across a compromised website and you connect your wallet to it and sign a malicious transaction, there isn't a lot at stake there. So you should always have one wallet for storage and one wallet for interacting with decentralized applications. Something else that was teased in Tangem's AMA was the release of some new products this year. I'm sure you've all heard about the Tangem ring already, which works the exact same way as the Tangem cards, except it comes in a discrete ring. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on this prototype ring and it works exactly like the cards and it's super discreet. I mean, unless you tell someone that this is a crypto wallet, they're gonna have no idea. I mean, I don't even think it has, it has branding on the inside of the wallet. So just wearing it from the exterior, you're not gonna be able to tell that this is a crypto wallet. Um, they're also talking about releasing other crypto wallet wearables such as a necklace, bracelet, and maybe even earrings. So that's something to look forward to. But for sure, the ring should be launching sometime in quarter two of 2024. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're, you're subscribed to this channel. I'll have a discount code for those new products once they are released. And if you're still debating whether or not the Tangem wallet is the right hardware wallet for you, you can check out my full review in this video. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.